So, I have talked previously a couple times about designing a um, <coughs> better engine with um, a stirring engine or the reverse a uh, heat pump or air conditioning. And one thing is the fluid inside, if we're not using a phase change fluid, which is not as ideal as a expanding gas, we want the gas to be as ideal as possible while transmitting enough heat. And ideal means ideal gas expands according to certain equation or, or compresses with heat in a way that doesn't lose energy to the molecule spinning as much, to it um, interrupt molecular forces, to it sticking together, or other things. And ideally you want as small molecule as possible with as weak intermolecular forces or forces putting the molecule together and it doesn't spin as much. This, in ideal gas, follows a um, when part pressure and volume, it follows a straight line or a temperature. These are so your bunch of gases, hydrogen, helium, here's the most ideal gas. Then you have um, ammonia, which shows you have highly non ideal gas. But it's a bunch of pictures like this. Hydrogen again is better than a bunch of these ones, and so on and so on. Now, Hydrogen and helium have some major advantages and disadvantages. First of all, from my standpoint, is that helium is much more expensive, but it's also much more stable. Um, hydrogen is a lot less expensive, and besides hydrogen being a lot less expensive, but hydrogen not only but hydrogen can corrode most metals slowly but it's a real close and, and it can leak out both of them are gases that can leak out easily hydrogen even more so because it's a tiny bit small in just a certain direction not in every direction but it can it can slowly interact with the metals in a way that it can slowly seep through it like water can slowly interact with paper or tissue seep through it even though it doesn't have big holes because it can be absorbed by the metal and deabsorbed or other things very very easily now, a way around the problem with hydrogen is why and to make a mixture that has a little bit of best of both worlds, would be make a mixture. Some helium, some hydrogen, you get less expensive than pure helium, and you get a little bit less leaky than pure hydrogen. Having it um, half hydrogen will make it almost half as leaky, <laughs> and have to um, really slow down corrosion for like twice as many cycles or more. And, it actually goes non-linearly up with cycles. Another thing is you can make it more ideal, hydrogen gas more ideal in some ways. And the way that is because hydrogen only has is this internal molecular forces. Helium has the weakest internal molecular forces, but it also has about as weak internal molecular force between helium and hydrogen. So if you have less hydrogen, less hydrogen interacts with less hydrogen, it's more likely to interact with helium. So if half it's half helium, half hydrogen, the interaction doesn't go down by a half, it goes down by one fourth the interactions. So it acts a lot more like an ideal gas than pure hydrogen. Another advantage. Another thing about it is that a lot of the rotational energy that hydrogen has from spinning around doesn't go into he helium can't rotate in that in as many directions because it's not like a barbell like hydrogen is two molecules h2 so instead helium will take that rotation energy and convert back into energy of it moving back and forth and hitting stuff however helium so this helium would convert that making more ideal in both ways however helium has some disadvantages with this paper and many other ones so it's so a helium this is how much heat it can absorb um, by weight, a nose of helium can absorb about three times less heat for the same mole capacity. So it is not as good as transmitting heat throughout the system. So having more hydrogen would transmit heat better. Helium is also about twice as dense. And hydrogen, that's a P thing here. Being twice as dense means that it can expand as fast, rapidly move up and down, which decreases efficiency. 
And there's some other slight decreases in efficiency. So actually with those transport of heat with um the helium being also a small molecule in some directions, hydrogen a little bit beats out helium in a lot of cases, not all cases, depends on the temperature range. But a mix it together, helium can have a little bit of helium could really help hydrogen outperform with um the square of the lowering the concentration of hydrogen more. So this paper goes off a bunch of characteristics with it. Um, and hydrogen also can flow faster in and out stuff because of lighter weight, which means that it can flow throughout the whole entire cylinder and make the cylinder more easy. But this shows you just hydrogen being the high line. This is how much power it can transmit. You can see that hydrogen can transmit more power because it's lighter. Um, and then here you can see that hydrogen can funks its uh, power with temperature also a little better and stuff like that. So the whole idea would be to simply to combine both fluids in a mixture. Then with my other ideas about how to keep hydrogen better in, I think this will make a very practical ensign. And with other ones with transmitting heat better without working fluids with making more microstructures and nanostructures and better manufacturing techniques. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers in a year and 4,000 watch hours, which is really hard. With your help, I think you can do it. Also, if you have any ideas for future videos, comments, or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. Thank you very much again.